Hello students, welcome. Where do we reach now? Yes, we are moving on the various means of transport. What's the meaning of means of transport? The methods we are using to carry the pupil and things from one place to another place. There are mainly three means of transport. First one, land transport. Land transport includes road transport and rail transport. Then second one, water transport. Third one, air transport. We can adopt any methods as per our use, time and money. But we can say that uh, the world has become smaller because of various means of transport. Everywhere we can see development, whether it is in the field of industry or whether it is in the field of door-to-door -door service, we can see development because of invention of wheel and means of transport. So, in the previous class, we have discussed with regard to road transport. One part that we have completed, now we are moving on to the rail transport. Rail transport. We can say that they are the lifelines of our economy. When do we use railway? That is, if we want to cover a long distance or if you have heavy tons of goods, we are using rail transport. So, for these two reasons, we are mainly using rail transport. One is for carrying heavy ton of goods. Goods means things. Second thing, for carrying long distance. Now, do you know the first train ran? It ran between Mumbai to Thane. Only 30 kilometers. When it was, it was in 1853. So, the first train, we can say that eh, it ran between Mumbai to Thane only for 30 kilometer distance. It was introduced by British. But now, we can see a lot of changes in the field of railways. First we can say that a steam engine came. Steam. Steam means water vapor. So steam was used to run the vehicles. Then we have used coal to produce steam. Coal means coil up. Then we used uh, petrol and diesel engine. Next step. Now we reach the electric trains. What is the benefit of electric train? No pollution is there, but at the same time, very fast. So a lot of changes are made in the field of railways. Same manner. With regard to the track, a lot of changes are made. For example, now multi-track. Many, many tracks are there for moving the train. Same as a modern signaling system. That is, before the train comes, we are getting information that train is going to come. Is all this information. Then another thing. Now, online reservation, we can reserve the tickets. 
everything early now speed when we are talking about speed speed is also completely improved now we can see two important trains one is shadabdi train and another it is rajdhani express they are moving in a very good speed now fastest train sometimes are running at a speed of 120 km per hour then bullet train came what about bullet train we are planning only now in our side to start from mumbai to ahmedabad it is covering more than 400 km per hour so another type of train so many many fastest trains came now we can say that indian railway we can say that second largest in the world large number of networks are there in our railway now another point trans continental railway what is this trans continental they are covering the cost eastern cost to western cost eastern cost to western cost cost means near the sea we can see this type of trains we can see in usa and canada that type of places so a lot of advancement is made now in the railways we can say that germany france Japan, very fastest trains are the one important fastest train. I will say TGV. This is in France. TGV of France. It is the very fastest train in the world. So I am saying a. summary of railways that is first steam engine then diesel petrol engine then electric engine then bullet trains then we talked with regard to transcontinental they are covering from eastern coast to western coast we can see in us and canada then many fastest trains in the world in india also in india i told shadabdi and rajdhani so these all are very important part in the development of industries also so this is with regard to rail transport thank you